And I'm Scott Budman. It's high-tech tracking to find bears in Yosemite National Park. We'll show you how it works after the break. Okay, it's a bear market at Yosemite, and that's a good thing. Today, the National Park showed off how it will be a bit safer, and when it comes to bears, smarter. Of course, we're using technology here. Our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman, joins us to talk a little bear tracking. Scott. Why not, Raj? Tracking via satellite, kind of like your cell phone, but this time to follow the bears at Yosemite. Rangers call it a way to both do research on the bears and help keep them safe. When Yosemite became a national park, slowly but surely, the interaction between human and bears picked up. And as Yosemite's own video shows us, it wasn't long before we humans started feeding the bears, getting dangerously close. Sometimes too close. Yeah, I mean, everyone loves bears. They want to they see them when they go to the park. Now there's a way to find and track the bears from a safe distance. This is Yosemite's Bear Tracker, a GPS-powered website to keep up with the park's bears. The goal, to warn people, especially those in cars, away from where the bears hang out, while helping rangers track the long-term patterns of the animals. And even though there's a fairly healthy population there, they really need to know where these bears are going. And if they're interacting with humans uh, too much, uh, then we have issues. Issues like 10% of the park's bears being hit by cars last year. And you won't be able to get too close. Yosemite delays the GPS data so people can't find the animals using the tracker. If there's a recurring bear problem with this particular bear, they can sort of head them off at the pass and, and, and scare them away or try to deter them away. Now, so far, the relatively short time park rangers have been tracking the bears by GPS. They've learned that bears in the park move as much as 30 miles in a single day and that they start mating in May. That's a month earlier than previously thought. The new program has already gotten the thumbs up from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Jessica. That is fascinating information. All right. Thanks, Scott. 